what is the challenge? The challenge has a generic prompt, for want of a better word. So all the students in their classrooms were prompted to design and build or significantly repurpose a product. A product that solves a problem, a need or a want. And that's all they get. So it's up to them. Define the problem, empathize, ideate, come up with a solution. That's what we, they were asked to do. So first deliverable obviously is the physical prototype of whatever level you want to. The second one is you have to do a, a, a presentation board and we have specifications. We give them a list of the items that we want to see, that we need to see on that presentation board. So all those details are presented to the teachers and the students. They also have to create and it's usually a little iPhone video, what we call a promotion or demonstration video. Somewhere in your prototype, 3D modeling and 3D printed parts have to be there. And that's it for the deliverables. Okay, so of course we have awards. We have cash awards. In our main exhibit, the, um, we have three winners at each level. So we have a first, second and third place for level one, first, second, third, level two, and so on. The cash awards are donated by Airwolf 3D, and they have been our sponsors from the band, our partners from the very beginning of the OC Maker Challenge. And we're going to ask Tyler Keris, who's representing um, Airwolf for us this afternoon, to uh, come up here, and Tyler will be handing out the large representations of the check. I am in 11th grade and I go to La Quinta High School. My invention is the magnet toothbrush and basically it has a base and you can switch out the brush heads for your specific need. Uh, what inspired me to make this is that I'm constantly losing brushes and I don't really want to go to the store and buy new ones that are really expensive. Uh, basically this brush allows you to have one brush with many choices. What I enjoyed most about OC Maker Challenge is seeing all of the inventions and products that everyone made and how innovative they are and how they could help people with their problems. And my teacher, he inspired me to use um, special technology that I've never worked with before. And um, it allowed me to make this dream that I had a reality. So our invention was something that we called an aqua alarm and the aqua alarm was an alarm that was made up of an app that had a 30 second countdown and whatnot and after that 30 second countdown, the if you didn't hit snooze, the alarm would spray. I mean the water pump would spray. <laughs> A lot of kids, like, when their alarm goes off, it, they just hit snooze and they go back to sleep. And it, it doesn't make them want to get up, so they just go back to sleep. So they have to get out of bed this way. I think we, we like, what we liked the most about participating in the OC Maker Challenge was that I actually, we all learned that even that we can learn from our mistakes. So we ended up failing a couple times when we were making the app or figuring out how to do Bluetooth or connect the relay. But after failing, we knew that we had to try again, and that's what made us um, finish our project. Um, to help people more interested in STEAM and to help us think of a better career, what we want to do in the I'm in 8th grade at Walker Junior High School. My invention is a programmable battery charger. So this port is charger A and this is port charger B. And on the app that we invented, 
you will press charge on A if you want to charge here or here. And so you set the percentage that you want your phone to be charged to and once it reaches that that percentage, it will, send, it will tell the Bluetooth and the Bluetooth will communicate to the relays and cut off the power of the charger. Um, from personal experience, I have overcharged my phone and that has turned out for me not having to replace it or replace the battery, which is not cheap, it's very expensive. So I wanted to solve that problem that I've experienced and I know a lot of other people have experienced. Just how much I've learned just in this one school year, like the, and really like learning that possibilities are endless. If anything you set your mind to, you can achieve it no matter what. What school do we go to? Uh, we're both in eighth grade and we go to St. Margaret's Episcopal School. Um, so our project is Buzz Trap and it is a UAV with a 3D printed mosquito trap on top of it that is able to fly to a remote location, land, and catch mosquitoes, which can then be brought back to a lab for testing for different viruses. Um, so I heard about Zika virus on the news and thought of a way that uh, I could catch mosquitoes which would in remote locations and looked into Microsoft's drone. I thought I could build a smaller and cheaper version, and that's what I did. Um, I think our favorite part about competing in the OC Maker Challenge uh, was probably just being creative with the product that we created and really being, being able to show what we did and how we did it. Um, so I want to be a mechanical engineer when I grow up. And I think I want to be an architect. I think I, I knew that I wanted to be a mechanical engineer before I pursued this, but this really, uh, help me understand what I can do as a mechanical engineer. And to the students, we want to thank you because we know this wasn't easy. We want to thank you for your effort, for your creativity, and for your persistence. Um, I have to quote um, a quote from Dale Doherty, who was the founder of the Maker Movement, and he said, one of the most profound experiences that any of us can have is to act on an idea, to turn it into something real and to share it. Because a maker, a producer, can change the world in small but significant ways. And so we want to say to you that you all have the potential to change the world. So know that and never ever give up. So thank you to everybody. Um, it was a great competition and we hope to see everybody here in 2018. Thank you.